Welcome to Stonk Insights, your one-stop shop for stock crypto analysis and discovery. In today's video, we're going to be talking about, you guessed it, Ethereum Classic. We're highlighting this video that I made on July 17th here. Ethereum Classic, are there real-world use cases for it right now? So thank you guys for the engagement. I got 12 likes on that video. Thank you for the 261 subscribers. Thank you guys for riding along with me here. As we look at the Ethereum Classic, we look at the HT, we look at the crypto in general, and just overall finances. But for the most part, it's about crypto. So I highlight this video because in this video, we looked at real world use cases for Ethereum Classic. And I, I got it paused here. As we can see, Ethereum Classic was the number ninth spot on here and let's see if i can fast forward it to all right and i want to fast forward it to this point here so we see that ethereum classic had 924 merchants at the time and i did want to you know update you guys every month on how many merchants were added on for ethereum classic so we're going to take you here to the cryptwork.com the ethereum classic directory so we can see you know what is going on with ethereum classic so you see there is a difference between price it was 41 dollars in that other video and in this video is 68 dollars so i'm going to take that 27 dollar price increase all day okay and as you see here there's 961 merchants with 20 that were added in august so that's great we're still on the road to 1000 merchants and this helps you know 20 merchants in the month of august thank you guys for adopting ethereum classic and with more companies adopting Ethereum Classic, the more it's going to be heard about, the more people are going to know about it, the more people are going to FOMO into it like we want. All right, so with that out the way, let's just take a look at the portfolio portfolio here. So we see it's, it's down today. It's down 1.21%, which, which is odd. As we see here, Bitcoin is actually up. Bitcoin is up 1.9% today. It's almost for a couple times it almost tried to top the fifty thousand dollar mark so it is strange to see ethereum classic down when bitcoin is up but you know sometimes ethereum Classic does have that lag you'll see bitcoin and ethereum go up and a day later or a few some hours later ethereum classic will catch up to it so that may be happening right now i don't know but we are still up as you see here, we're up 46% right now. It's been floating between 46 and 50%. So we are happy with that, you know, for the time being. But, you know, we're on the path to, you know, get into those epic gains. So with all that out of the way, we're going to get into the video that we're, you know, got laid out for you. You know, we're looking at Ethereum Classic from a technical analysis, okay? So I'm not the best chart reader out there, okay? But I do know a little bit about technical analysis. But I like to do it in a way that's more or less telling a story instead of spitting out all kinds of terms at you that you don't understand or you may understand, but it's still easier to for the average layperson to hear in, you know, the, the most basic terms. OK, so that's what we're going to do today. We're going to go through this chart here and just look at and this chart was provided by Bengaza.com. We took it from Coinbase. So thank Bengaza for all the markups on it. Well, let's just start here from April, okay? And in April, Ethereum Classic was floating around $5 to the $5.50 range, okay? Then in mid-April, it shot up and hit a resistance of $40, okay? So it hit resistance and it couldn't pass that resistance. And what happened? It kind of died down. You start seeing these red candles here, okay? You see a bunch of red candles here. And what did it kind of form? You see this resistance line you see these red candles and you see it kind of go up what is this kind of form here it looks like a cup to me okay so it did this cup pattern and it shot on up to 180 dollars let's say or it's right under 180 170 something dollars okay all time highs all right and you know that wasn't sustainable so it dropped it dropped it dropped it dropped to back to the old resistance it touched resistance again it touched resistance twice during that drop Touch it there and it touched it there, okay? Then it kicked back up and it created a new resistance. Okay, let me let me let me backtrack, okay? This was the old resistance back here. This here became support, okay? So it, it came back up and where it was the old resistance, it touched and it came back up. Then it touched again, it came back up. What happens when resistance is touched but not surpassed? 
Then it becomes the support. So the, this old resistance of $40 became the support for Ethereum Classic. So you see here, it shot back up and it touched a high and a normalized sense of $80, okay? And this became the new resistance. As we see this orange line here, we see this pattern emerging. And what does this pattern kind of look like? Well, if you look back here, it kind of looks like this cup pattern at a more sideways angle, and it hasn't been fully realized yet. But we do see a cup pattern forming here, okay? And we see that the resistance has been tested on multiple terms, okay? It actually broke resistance here in mid-June, but it's still recovered and, you know, resistance, you know, still held at that $40 mark here, okay? So now what do we see here? Is this orange you see in September at $80, it just forms this natural cup to where we see Ethereum Classic is on track to getting back up to the $80 price points, okay? But let's just break down some of these other lines here, okay? As we look at this blue line here, this is a 200 day moving average. And what the 200 day moving average is, is the average of the last 200 days, and then he plotted on this graph, okay? So this line represents the last 200 days. We see Ethereum Classic is above that 200 day moving average. But moreover, if we look at this green line here, this is the 50 day moving average. The 50 day moving average is, again, it's the last 50 days and the average of those 50 days plotted on the graph, okay? And we see Ethereum Classic is above that as well. And we see we just came above the 50 day moving average. What does this mean? For above both the 200 day and the 50 day moving average, this is bullish sentiment on an overall asset for the coin here with Ethereum Classic. So this bullish, bullish sentiment is leading right into, I mean, it's like the story. It's showing this line, this, this cup is going right to $80. And that's exactly what Ethereum Classic is doing. It's following the story, it's following the storyline without pretty much a lot of deviation. We do see some times where it did drop here and it dropped there. And obviously fear was, you know, in the market very heavily, especially what's going on in the world right now. But now we see that it, everything is still on track for having a very bullish year. Whether you believe Ethereum class is going to be $100 at the end of the year, $600 at the end of the year, or $1,000 at the end of the year, I do believe Ethereum class is going to be higher than what it is today by the end of the year. So that's the video for you guys. What do you guys think? You think Ethereum Classic is going to catch up and, you know, catch up with some of these charters, some of this analysis that some of these people are putting out? Do you think that Ethereum Classic will hit these all-time highs that some people speculate may happen? I don't know. And again, I'm not a financial advisor. I should have mentioned that at the beginning of the video, but nothing heard in this video should be considered financial advice. If you take any advice from me or any other influencer, you have a high probability to get wrecked don't get wrecked thank you guys for watching subscribe if you're new here like the video if you like the video and i'll catch you in the next one